coming? All three of us? Yeah, come on down, please. Grab a mic. Please welcome the filmmakers behind 20 Days in Maripol, please. We'll have a bit more clapping, thank you very much. So I've been asking everybody this, but I realise this is quite a loaded question, but how are we feeling? Conflicted. Yeah, it's a huge honour. It's a huge responsibility, and we are so grateful for recognising our work. But still, I keep thinking about Ukraine. I keep thinking about what is happening there right now. And the only comfort for me that I'm not filming out there, then we are not all out there, is that uh, we we give voice to Ukrainians. We we keep reminding the world about well, what is happening right now. And another city just got occupied by Russia. So it is more important than ever to to be here and to keep talking about this. Otherwise, well, I hope the world never forgets that. But, you know, we have to make sure that we keep reminding everyone. You only have so much time when you're on stage. Is there anything else you'd like to add here at this point? This is for people of Mariupol. They have saved our lives. They have helped us every step of the way. The film we made is about them and this is for them. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have a question um, here, Ella. Hi. Uh, Hi. I'm from Letterboxd. Um, I'm interested to know, obviously the film industry is in a tense time of change, and it's really not. Um, what is one thing you wish was different about it at the moment, specifically the way we go to the cinema to see things on the big screen? What, what do we wish was different? Actually, I... I... This year, I saw so many important films being recognized and so many voices from all over the world. And I am actually quite inspired by, by what, where the industry goes right now. So I, I just hope it, it goes to, to, to that direction and amplifies these voices that need to be heard. And I'm grateful to be one of those voices, but, but yeah, every story and every film who we were uh, in nomination with and in other nominations are, are so incredibly important. That's how the history is made. And, I'm, and you know, this guarantees that all those films stay in history. So let's just keep going in this direction. Okay, thank you. And from a uh, round of applause, yes, please. Don't let me stop you. Uh, third from the back in the brown jacket. Hello, uh, Jacob Sarkis here from Gold Dog. Documentary films are always uh, designed just to get the documentary. The very rarely nominated for best film overall, it seems, and quite a bit of an oversight. I just wonder if you had any hints that should be in that conversation more. Right? I am um, already really grateful that we made it into a film not in English language uh, category that also helped us to to be more visible even to, to people who are less interested in documentary category. So that's great that documentary films actually are able to to, to compete in other documentary, uh, in other categories. Uh, moreover, uh, I think that's that's a good example for, for Ukraine right now. As as a country at war, uh, it it chooses to it chooses documentary film to represent the country, and I think it really depends on on what what is happening and what's the situation in every single different country. Sometimes, documentary medium is the best medium to to talk about certain issues, and certainly for for the country at war is. Uh, the best one right now, but the time will come and different mediums will. So I I don't see it as a restriction. I see it's just a as a, just a right time. Yeah. So, but I'm really grateful for 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 the exposure. For we have time for just one more question before we let them go. Uh, just to the right of the previous question. Carla from Studio Stash. Um, when the zone of interest produces a special hidden order. Um, Zone of Interest is a film that, interestingly, this year um, we, we feel really connected to. Uh, we speak about 
impact, devastating impact of war on the civilian population. But we, we tr both try to, to make this message universal. It's not just about, it's not just a story we're telling. We, it's, it's more of, more of a symbol that we're trying to, to, to carry. So, uh, that attempt to make the message more universal is actually specifically directed to fight against the selective empathy because we talk about not just about people of Mariupol and not just what happened in uh, in the death camps, but we talk about the humanity and uh, its fight for survival and uh, its wish to for the world to be a better place for all of us. Yeah. Uh, that is sadly all the time we have uh, with the filmmakers of 20 Days Mariupol. Mr. Slav, thank you. thank you, everybody. Please keep that applause going as they leave the stage. We'll see you later. I'll spare you in a handful. Congratulations, well done.